The Creek Fire was the single largest wildfire in California history in 2020. Extraordinary impact on the forests and on the communities. Over 370,000 acres burned. So many folks lost so much in the fire and the ability to rebuild is absolutely overwhelming for them. And there's a lot of people that want to respond and they want to help and they want to do recovery. So we've organized a spot where we can connect folks that want to help with folks that really need it. Almost a year after the Creek Fire, uh, to see so many individuals come together. To me, it was just an outpouring of my feelings towards humanity. It wasn't a generational, it wasn't a political, ideological, based on religion. It's everybody coming together at that moment. And you say to yourself, why can't we do that all the time? What, a, what an impact. I mean, we got a lot of work done that day. <laughs> For people who really had no experience or very little experience or even were kids, don't underestimate kids <laughs> with how much debris they can pick up and keep going. And then the community members who have all the experience, like experienced Sawyers coming out and giving their skills back. That day was definitely memorable. Being a young person thrust into a humongous disaster and being able to provide leadership was an honor and a privilege. I don't think that this story of fire that we have right now is something that we can't overcome. It's definitely something that we can do. We've done it before, but it takes a collective. And I'd love to be part of that regional answer as CRRCD with our forestry and watershed team to really provide the forest stewardship that we need for conservation for our future. And the California Fire Safe Council is absolutely a critical part of that. The expertise, the training, you're on the ground, you understand what it takes to work with communities. California Fire Safe Council and is a vital and important relationship, but it's been uh, very timely as well. Based on some of the challenges that we've had as it relates to forest health, tree mortality, as well as uh, the recent Creek Fire. So you now have fire safe communities, but you still have the broader landscape. What are you gonna do with all those materials? And so the um, biomass is what we're looking at. We don't want to remain traditional or conventional. Uh, so what we see is taking those materials and converting them into useful products, biochar, organic carbon, renewable natural gas, and at a community level, and then scaling from there. The community collaboration is really the, it's the spark. It's the, it's, it's the why. It brings hope to people who, you know, may feel forgotten. You know, they live up in the mountains for a reason, but everyone needs community. Our communities are going to be more prepared with the work that we're doing for the next wildfires. Every little bit counts. So whatever it is that you're involved in, your fire safe council, your RCD, your, your family's property, whatever it is that you're a part of, just that one little piece that you do, it matters and it's worth it. So do it. Hey!